In the world of U.S. politics, there is no shortage of heinous figures. Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick is one such heinous figure. So, Dan Patrick went on Tucker Carlson's show last night in order to argue for the return to work by sacrificing older folks. I'm not kidding you. I'm not playing around. That was his argument. And for that, Dan Patrick is our boom ghoul of the week. And I don't use the term ghoul lightly. So here is Dan Patrick arguing for sacrificing older people on Tucker Carlson's show last night. Living in fear of is what's happening to this country. And you know, Tucker, no one reached out to me and said, uh, as a senior citizen, uh, are you willing to take a chance on your survival in exchange for keeping the America that all America loves for your children and grandchildren? And if that's the exchange, I'm all in. Um, and that doesn't make me noble or brave or anything like that. I just think there are lots of grandparents out there in this country like me. I have six grandchildren that what we all care about and what we love more than anything are those children. And I want to you know, live smart and, uh, and, and see through this, but I don't want the whole country to be sacrificed. Uh, and, I, and that's what I see. I've talked to hundreds of people, Tucker, in just in the last week and uh, making calls all the time. And, and everyone says pretty much the same thing, that we can't lose our whole country. We, we're having an economic collapse. I'm also a small businessman, I understand it. And I talk with business people all the time, Tucker. And, and I'm so, my, I'm just, my heart is lifted tonight by what I heard the president say, because we can do more than you know, one thing at a time. We can do two things. So you know, my message is that um, uh, let's get back to work. Let's get back to living. Let's be smart about it. Uh, and those of us who are 70 plus, we'll, we'll take care of ourselves, but don't sacrifice the country. Don't do that. Don't ruin so this you're, great So you're basically dream. saying that this disease could take your life, but that's not the scariest thing to you. There's something that would be worse than dying. Yeah. Um, and look, I'm going So Dan Patrick starts off there by saying, no one reached out to me and asked me if I was willing to sacrifice my life in order to keep the markets afloat? That's because no one would do that. No one would reach out to older people and say, hey, are you willing to die in order to keep the markets afloat? Only a psychopath would do that. That's why no one reached out to you and asked you that. And then he goes on to say, you know, if it's either my life or keeping the markets afloat. I want to save our country by getting people back into their jobs. I don't want to destroy the country. I don't want to sacrifice our country for the destruction of our market. The thing is, by actively sending people back into the workforce, you are in fact destroying the country. The country is nothing without the people. And if people are returning to work, and uh, they are spreading this virus, they are going to kill each other. People will die from this virus. Therefore, you are sacrificing people. You're sacrificing the country. And it's not either or. It's not either we return back to work or the country is destroyed. This crisis would shorten in length if people were actually to follow the guidelines. He says he wants to be smart about this. The smart thing is to shut everything down until, you know, we're not exposed to this virus anymore. And then we could return back to work after the crisis is finished. By returning back to work while the crisis is still happening, the virus will spread like crazy. Look over at Italy. 10% of the people who have contracted the virus have died. One in every 10 person who contracts the virus in Italy died, okay? Now imagine that in your own life. Think of 10 of the older folks that you know. If all 10 of them got the virus, one of them will die. We don't want that here. So Dan Patrick talking about the need to go back to, to work, stabilize the market. He's okay with people dying. Because you know who makes money when the market stays afloat? 
Dan Patrick. When the stock market fluctuates, for me or for you, nothing changes. But for him, when the stock market goes down, he loses money. That's why these people want to return back to the, to the workforce. Trump, Dan Patrick, the Republicans, let's get back in there. We don't care how many people die. As long as the markets are steady, as long as our returns come back pretty nice, we're okay with a few hundred thousand people dying. One in every 10 people in Italy has died from this. So for this, Dan Patrick, you are one of the most heinous people in politics. Anyone parroting these talking points is heinous as well. He says there at the end, by the way, he says that there's something more worse than dying. And that's the crashing of the stock market. Don't give up your life for people like this. They don't care about you. They only care about money. So, Dan Patrick, I'm sorry, but I'm not actually sorry for saying you are a terrible human being. Leave a comment in the comment section what you think about ghoulish Dan Patrick and subscribe to support independent progressive media. We got to call out people like this. We got to call out ghouls like Dan Patrick, Donald Trump. They don't care about you. Independent progressive media hosts do. I care about you. So subscribe to join the political revolution and we'll see you next time.